Internet, good morning and welcome to Mount Silver. My name is Magnitude and I would love to introduce you to the first ever upload on this channel that is a battle. If you could guys, if you guys could please, wow. If you guys could please leave a like on the video below, that would just be the greatest thing ever and help the entire channel out. I have a battle against uh, the other, another one of the directors here, Swaglift Joe, great guy. His link will, I'm sure, be in the description somewhere. But I have a Landerstherian, Mega Alakazam, uh, Lilligant, Heatran, Quagsire, and Aegislash. And Mr. Joseph has a uh, Polytoad, Mew, Arcanine, Mega, Venusaur, Scizor, and a, a Conkleder. So uh, he's got a lot of physical threats there with the Conkleder and Scizor alone. Uh, but luckily, uh, my this, uh, my uh, Quagsire can take make up for the fact, uh, you know, with the unaware can take the, uh, you know, if he wants to boost with his Scizor. And I have a Heatran for the likes of you know, Arcanine and whatnot. So I'm going to optically with uh, Landorus. He's going to optically with Scizor. And I get the Intimidate off first turn, which is fantastic for this uh, to limit Scizor. He's actually just going to go ahead and switch out. Knowing I'm going to U-turn, so he goes into Polito to get that rain up, he might as well be going to be able to get it safely. He now has uh, 10 turns of quality, quality rain. I actually, uh, Earthquake, instead, I, I kind of thought he would see that I was going to, you know, he's going to predict the U-turn too early. But uh, let's go for the Earthquake. Uh, go for the Earthquake again, knowing now he can't. I can't hit him for super effective damage. Now, Mew can do a lot of things. I honestly have no idea what Mew's capable of. So I'm going to go ahead and just safely swap out. I don't want to be a part of this. He goes into uh, a, I go into Quagsire. He actually gets the Stealth Rock. Now, honestly, it was a crapshoot based on what I, I wanted to switch into. I had no idea. So I just go ahead and just go for the Stealth Rock because everyone wins. He's going to switch out. He gets the rocks up. So again, I don't know what he's going to do, but that makes you think he's more of a support Mew. But he's going to go into that uh, Venus to hoping to get the burn with the skull. That's not going to happen. I realize he's probably Mega, so I need something that can kind of touch this Mega, mega Venus or at the very least uh, not be hurt by it. So I go into Heatran. Hoping he's going to Mega Evolve and go for either a Vine Whip or, or what's it called? Not Vine Whip. Not Vine Whip. Power Whip or a Sludge Bomb or something. And he does go to the Power Whip, and this is going to do laughable damage. By laughable, that's it's like, what, uh, 16 is that? Was that 173? I don't remember. But after Leftovers, it does, I believe, 4 damage. I go to the Lava Plume again, hoping to get those burns. And it's it's gonna he's gonna earthquake me and I, I seeing earthquake was unfortunate but uh, it's not gonna kill me because he trained it's really bulky and I think he runs more of a bulky Venusaur anyway actually most people's Mega Venusaurs are generally more bulky anyway so um, I'm just gonna go into Landorus thinking he's gonna earthquake me again and he uh, I get intimidated off to lower whatever he's gonna do and he actually goes for a leech seed so great play in his part predicting me to switch and going for that leech seed and he's gonna get some HP back in addition to uh, possibly synthesis but that means he would have to have synthesis leech seed earthquake. And um, and power whip, which I don't think he has, but uh, turns out he does. So what do you know? If there was, if I had jump off, I could wall this thing to death. But uh, nobody runs jump off ever. So you know, I know you, and he's gonna get the leap seat back, and it sucks. I'm gonna go ahead and swap right out. I'm gonna go back in heat train. Hope he's gonna power whip me. I don't really have much that I want to take anyway. And after the stealth rocks, he's gonna power whip me. And Ali North taking out my uh, heat train. So that's actually really, really, really unfortunate. But I do have Alkazam. Can threaten him out with a super effective uh, maneuver. And he's going to go into Scizor, you know, wanting to take my Psychic or Psy Shock, whatever I'm going to have, hit him super effectively. So uh, I become Mega. I'm going to end the Tracing Technician, which I don't really need. I was kind of hoping to trace Thick Fat. That'd be kind of cool. But I do go for just a Psychic, and that's uh, seeing as Scizor no longer, or Scizor still resists that. That does a solid amount. Uh, he's getting special venture up. I thought I could live with a bullet punch. I do live at two. Go for a shadow ball. He is not going to live that. So down goes Scizor. I live at two fucking HP, but he has Conkler left. I oh, I wanted to go to Aegislash to predict him to use knockoff, but I felt like the risk on both those sides was so great. I couldn't, like, I don't think he wanted to go for knockoff on the off chance. I stayed and hit him with a fucking psychic. But at the same time, I didn't want to go into Aegislash and be ruined by a, uh, a knockoff, which would have been awful. He goes into Mew as I go for a Stone Edge. And that does a solid amount, actually. But after the leftovers, it's, it's going to be laughable. So he looks like he's max defense, some kind of um, some kind of support set. I go into Quagsire. Mostly out of curiosity to see what he's going to do again. And he goes for a Root. So fuck me in the ass sideways. That Mew is is not, not very kind to me. After you get all that back, he just goes for a knockoff, and then he's going to knock off my Rocky Helmet, which doesn't do anything after this point, because he has Roost anyway. He can just Roost off the damage. I just go for Earthquake to see what's going to happen. Didn't want to burn him because of the synchronized possibility. Uh, he's going to just bounce back to burn. He's actually going to swap out, and he's going to go right into his bubbles again. 
his uh fuck <laughs> goddamn Politoed to get the uh, rain back up, but I go for a Scald here actually now, I'm predicting him to switch, and a Scald gets boosted, and I get the burn in the rain, so uh, that's fantastic. Why did I predict him to switch? I feel like he couldn't really do much to me, he was afraid of my, me just recover stalling him anyway. Uh, he is going to hide from him and kill me! Uh, it is neutral because I'm parked ground, but I did not see that happening in the slightest, and he, I mean, he goes down, so he can't get rain back up once it goes away, but I feel like he's already done enough anyway with that, or the rain's, you know, hampered me, so I go into my age slash. And he can just leech seed me, but I'm okay with that because the whole point, I just wanted to deal as much damage as I possibly could. At least see what I could do with a Shadow Ball based on, you know, what's going to happen. Mega Venusaur is an issue. I just don't know what I'm going to do. Especially after getting back that, that HP. That shit, that's going to cause me problems with the leech seed. And you got the possible synthesis. I don't really know how I'm going to weasel my way out of this one, but I do go into my uh, Lander's Theory and predicting him to either Earthquake. If he wants to go for Power Whip, it's fine. I got the... Uh, the Tim off on him, but he's going to switch now. He doesn't want to take any this anymore. He's going to go out to Mew, which is okay, and I'm just going to go for Earthquake. I hope I can get some crits and whatnot, and one more can possibly take out this Mew. I mean, it did just enough where I can maybe take it out, and that would be a huge weight off my shoulders, and I do. And based on how long the uh, rain lasts, turned out he wasn't Damp Rock, like my original assumption. Uh, I'm going for Earthquakes now, just hoping, thinking, you know, doing as much as I possibly could. He's going to Ice Punch me, which is fine. I'm okay with that. I'm going to die, but it's fine. I'm whittling his team away, and I still have some an possible answers. So I go to Lilgant, this being the possible answer. Lilgant's coming in. They're just going to break my Sash. I'm going to go for Giga Drain. Thought I could take it out. I really honestly did. Uh, but I am going to uh, be able to get back up to uh, HP. And his Ice Punch isn't going to do anything to me. But Mach Punch is in fact going to take me out. So Little Gant did nothing. Should have put him to sleep. I thought he was going to go into Venusaur predicting. Because Venusaur kind of takes that all day. Uh, but he, he doesn't. So he's, he's actually going to knock me off. I was hoping. I made a lot of bad predictions this play. But I was hoping he wouldn't. You know, he'd predict me to King Shield and go for a Mach Punch. But that wasn't the case. Uh, he just decides, you know, Conkler's done enough. Let's put in some work there. So he goes into RK9. And at this point, uh, all I have left is Aegis Slash. He gets intimidated off on me. And he goes for Willis, but he misses. And I'm like, I kind of have life left. Uh, you know, not really, but I still have something. He's got to miss another one, and i got to get some some whatever. But I actually stand change for him to go for a Flare Blitz now instead. And he... So after the King Shield, and he actually does go for the Flare Blitz, which is kind of funny because his attack now gets lowered. If I only had leftovers and not Spooky Plague to begin with, or if I just didn't misplay with Lilligant, that would have been a lot easier as well. But he's going to Flare Blitz me uh, again, and that's going to end up taking me out. So unfortunately, my first upload here is a loss, but it, I, I don't want to set an unrealistic standard for myself. I just want to show you guys I am human. Anyone can upload this channel based on the fact of that video that I uploaded a loss, but uh, you know it does mean that if another Mount Silver director did end up getting a win on me. So I mean, someone from Mount Silver got a win on, win on this day. It wasn't myself, it was Joe. But either way, rate, comment, sub, and I would love to see you guys next time. Peace.